In this video, we are going to see about the voltage frequency control of induction motor, otherwise called as V by F control of induction motor fed drive. Already we have seen about the two different speed control techniques, stator voltage control and stator frequency control. So here we are going to see about both stator voltage and frequency control that is voltage and frequency are controlled at the same time which is also called as V by F control. So these three techniques are applicable for both squirrel cage induction motor as well as slip ring induction motor. In stator voltage control technique which we have seen earlier in the previous video Torque is directly proportional to voltage square. So by varying the stator voltage you are able to control the speed but voltage can only be reduced. It cannot be increased beyond the rated value. So you can achieve speed control only below rated speed. So it has a limited speed control as its drawback. Now we have seen the second control technique as stator frequency control. Here the voltage will be kept constant and the frequency of the stator that is the supply frequency will be changed to control the speed. So the voltage equation is 4.44 F pi N1 into Kw. Here F and phi are variables. So F is the supply frequency and phi is the flux. Now if voltage is kept constant, that is at constant voltage, if I change the frequency, flux will also change so that voltage remains constant. So suppose I am decreasing this frequency, this flux will increase so that the voltage remains constant. But if flux increases, it leads to saturation. If I increase the frequency, flux will decrease. If flux decreases, torque will decrease. So torque and flux are directly proportional. So if you decrease the flux, the torque, maximum torque also decreases. So this is a drawback of stator frequency control. We have seen the disadvantage of both the stator voltage control and stator frequency control. Now we are clubbing both the methods together so that we get the advantage of both the methods. So we are clubbing this stator voltage control and stator frequency control so that we get high torque as well as wide speed control. So this is done by uh, keeping this voltage and frequency ratio constant. Let us see how it is done. The voltage induced in the stator winding is this equation. Here all terms are constant except F and phi. So let us take uh, C as the constant term. V1 is equal to C into F into phi. Now bring this F down. So V by F is equal to C into phi. So if I keep this ratio constant V by F this ratio constant this flux will be constant if flux is constant torque will be constant so we are able to achieve wide speed control as well as high maximum torque by clubbing these two methods together that is we are keeping Keeping this V by F ratio constant, we are able to achieve wide speed control as well as higher maximum torque. Let us see the torque equation. The fundamental torque equation for normal rated voltage and frequency is this one. Now 
for V by F control we are changing the voltage by frequency this ratio we are changing so let us uh, change the equation according to that so for V by F method the torque equation becomes wherever you are get voltage you put some K times V and uh, for uh, frequency term you put one more K here in reactance you will have one frequency term so K is included here okay so the torque equation is like this now let us find the maximum torque how to find the maximum torque first you find the slip at which maximum torque occurs how to find the slip differentiate this torque with respect to slip yes and equate to, to 0 you will get the condition for maximum torque so you got this condition you substitute this s value here and you will get the maximum torque so let us substitute it let us derive the maximum torque equation so the maximum torque for rated voltage and rated frequency is this equation which we have derived in the induction motor for drives video so this is the maximum torque equation here you substitute omega s is equal to 2 pi n s by 60 where n s is 120 f by p so it becomes 4 pi f by p let us substitute this one here and instead of x1 write it as 2 pi f into l so you are getting some constant here 3 p by 8 pi uh, this you can uh, make it as a single constant say let us take a small k is equal to 3 p by 8 pi we want to bring v by f ratio here so that we can relate the v by f ratio and the maximum torque so simplify the equation we will get this type and if you neglect this uh, state r resistance we will get maximum torque equation is equal to k into v1 by f the whole square divided by 2 pi into l1 plus l2 so here you can see that all these things uh, remaining things are constant we can leave it so maximum torque is directly proportional to v1 by f the whole square so if this ratio is kept constant the maximum torque is going to remain constant so the v by f method we are able to achieve constant maximum torque so if you see this uh, graph between v and f you can see we are changing the v by f ratio this ratio is kept constant till rated frequency or base frequency so once it reaches a base frequency you should keep the voltage constant because if you increase above the rated frequency what happens the voltage will increase beyond its rated value this will cause insulation damage so it is necessary to stop or keep the voltage constant after the base frequency and if you see at this low frequency the state of drop while calculating the maximum torque we have neglected actually at low frequencies you cannot neglect the state of drop so at this condition maximum torque decreases so what you have to do is you, you see in this graph there is a small it is not starting from zero instead some voltage is there even when frequency is zero so minimum voltage should be maintained so that you will get the torque next we will see the speed torque characteristics so already we have seen till base frequency the v by f ratio is maintained constant so that the maximum torque also remains constant after base frequency frequency is increased with voltage constant so torque decreases so here torque um, will decrease after base frequency so in this channel i have already covered the power electronics whole subject 
and uh, solid state drives is covered and basic electrical engineering topics is, uh, are also covered there are different playlists for each of the subjects and if you have any doubt you can uh, mention uh, mail to this read electric vehicle at gmail.com or give it in the comment section and if you like the video do subscribe to read electric vehicle channel and press the bell button for further updates how to achieve this uh, variable voltage and variable frequency so either you can use a voltage source inverter so that you can change the voltage as well as frequency or you can use a cyclo converter also if you use a voltage source converter you can use it in low power drives Cyclo cyclo converter can be used for high power drives so in um, uh, this is one method to implement v by f method so here for three phase induction motor we have a three phase in pwm inverter so you can change the voltage and frequency of this inverter output to con get the v by f ratio constant so the inverter needs a dc supply which can come from a diode bridge rectifier so three phase ac is available which will be converted into dc by the diode bridge rectifier then you are using a filter to ripple to remove the ripples then that um, ripple free output is given as the input for the inverter here we are using diode bridge so you are not able to feed the power back to the supply that is when you use a diode bridge regeneration will not be possible if you use a thyristor you can send the power from the motor to the supply regeneration will be possible you can also implement v by f by this uh, circuit that is including a chopper circuit here this helps to remove uh, the harmonics injected into the supply here also we are using diode bridge rectifier so regeneration is not possible this is another thing you are using a control rectifier so if you use a fully control rectifier you can uh, send the power back to the supply next we have cyclo converter fed drive this is normally preferred for high power drives and where you want to operate at low speed or low speed uh, application this is uh, most suitable because at low frequencies they have low harmonic content but uh, the problem is you may need lot of devices the circuit will be bit costly the advantages of v by f control method is that you can achieve speed control from zero speed to above base speed and uh, the performance at starting is improved efficiency power factor is also high the disadvantages are they are expensive so the, the points to remember here are so we know the voltage induced in the stator winding is directly proportional to frequency and flux so if this ratio v by f remains constant flux remains constant so torque remains constant so here you can see till base frequency you can keep the v by f ratio constant after base frequency we have to keep the voltage constant otherwise it will damage the insulation so after base frequency voltage remains constant so maximum torque decreases if you like the material please do subscribe to read electric vehicle channel and share it with your friends thank you